Hi, this third video about element overview drawings shows how to create a drawing similar to this one, meaning a floor plan and then four elevations flipped around it. In this case, I've shown the inside of the elements, so I'm standing in here and drawing what I'm seeing from the inside of the building. Uh, when the different elements are flipped out to the side. What you notice is that these trees are created as elevations, but this one is created as, as sections. And that has to do with that an elevation view can be only rotated 90 degrees clockwise or 90 counterclockwise. But a section can be rotated in a view 180 degrees. And I'll just show that by going to my section 1 and activate the crop view, mark it, and then rotate it back to its original state. And that's what you see here. I'll undo that and I'll jump back. In this video, I'll demonstrate these principles being used, but instead of drawing the building from the inside, I'll show you how to do the outside of the elements. And I'll do that by going to my ground floor plan. I will create a duplicate of it, and I'll rename it, and I'll call it flip out from outside. First of all, I'll just change the scale to 1 to 50 and then I think I'll place it on a sheet right away. We could go to use this one. Just delete the example sheet text here and I'll move my plan drawing in here. And choose without. No title, please. Like this. And I'll just change the format here to maybe a portrait and center it. Okay, then I will go and take a look at my different elevations. I'll start out with the eastern one and I see my ground floor here and I might want to actually just uh, clean it up a little bit. I'll hide these categories, hide this one as well and this one as well and then I will place it on my example sheet so that was my eastern one and I think I forgot to change the scale I'll just jump back like this and I'll do something similar with the rest of them actually just um, hiding categories When that's being done, I will place the different views. The northern one here, I forgot to change the scales one again, once again, here, and the western one here. I'll just activate view and change to 1 to 50. Deactivate. And this looks uh, quite okay. I might want to activate view and then remove the elements here. Height elements and the door as well here. Same thing I'll do here. Height, height element and deactivate view. The western one will um, be rotated clockwise like this 
and again I need to change the scale like that deactivate west yes and I might want to go without a title see if I can get it I rotate that counterclockwise like this and that more or less fits I'll just use the arrows to move it a little bit around and say no title okay so far so good three out of four looks right but this one as mentioned before can't be rotated because it's a facade so I think I'll make a section out of it and I'll do that by jumping back here and I will draw a section looking this direction and it might be named section 2 here we have it I'll just do a few modifications I might want to hide these categories again check that it's 1 to 50 and then I'm able to select the box here and rotate it like this and again I'll just move the section in here and now it should fit with the rest of it we have the window here and this is the bottom of the element I'll just go back here and turn off this hidden feature delete this one and I might wanna I'll hide these elements as well as these and I might want to turn off the section box as well and deactivate view and say no title for instance and then we are more or less happy with what it looks like might want to move all of them down a little bit oh, that was almost all of them I'll just move this down and now I have a nice plan drawing with facades or elevations of the elements uh, flipped out okay I hope you'll find this useful in case you want to make a flip out drawing Thank you for listening. Goodbye.